Here we have a question about questionnaires. Grade C topic. Um, do pause the video and have a go at this question if you haven't done so already. Okay, so the standard thing about questionnaires, um, there's two types of questions on questionnaires. There's one where they ask you about the question that's going to be asked in a questionnaire and how you would do that. And it's also talking about um, how the questionnaire is taken uh, is conducted. I'll talk about that after I've talked about this question. So designing a suitable question for Sophie. So basically you've got to ask the question in a, in a sensible way that does not mislead somebody. So you don't say something like give you give yourself opinion, give your own opinion first, like oh, I like exercising, what, uh, how much time do you spend exercising, or exercising is for uh, People don't exercise are lazy. How much time do you spend on exercising? Those are sort of misleading questions because they're giving your opinion before you start. All you need to do here is go, um, how much time do you spend exercising? Okay, now that in itself is not a good enough question because there's no time frame. So when you're talking about something that requires a time frame, you need to put in how long they need their response should be over. So we're going to put in for this one uh, per week. Okay, and then we need some response boxes so we keep our responses um, sensible, not uh, lots of different answers. So we can just tick a box. So classic sort of thing here to do is something like 0 to 1 hours um, making sure our boxes don't overlap so I wouldn't use 1 to 2 I would have to do 2 to 3 hours if they were somewhere between 1 and 2 they have to decide whether in this box or this box and then sort of 4 to 5 hours and maybe 6 plus hours so you have at least 4 options um, and everything is covered so nothing if they spend no time there could be in this box or if they spend lots and lots of time they could be in this box and everything in between okay so that's uh, a typical question you might ask in a questionnaire how you set it out with response boxes the other things that, that might come in a questionnaire type question is um, when somebody is saying that they go and ask certain people in a certain place at a certain time and uh, when you're asking people, you need to be thinking about who you're asking, where you're asking them, and when are you asking them. So if I was doing a, um, I can remember a past question about somebody doing a survey about about borrowing books from a library, and if you um, ask people as they left the library, or you stood outside a library asking questions, um, then you are are not taking a wide enough sample because you're only asking people that go in and out of the library. So if you're in a school and you want to ask that sort of question and get a, a get a, a unbiased response, you need to ask it in lots of different places. So where you ask it is important, and the who, obviously, if you're asking people that go in and out of the library, they'll have a more of an opinion about library books than somebody that doesn't go in and out of the library a lot. So that those two are linked there. And when you ask, so if you ask um, people at lunchtime. Um, you would probably get a different response to when you ask people um, in an evening or on a weekend or um, in the middle of a lesson or something. So when you ask people about something can be quite important as well because that also, uh, depending on where you're asking them, different types of people will be there at different times of the day or even different days of the week or even different months of the year. So it's important to be thinking about those three things when you're when you're designing a questionnaire where it's going to be asked and who you're going to ask. Okay, but for this question, we're just interested in this topic, the question and the response boxes.